If I ever get the chance to walk past the mirror 20 years from now, I would really shed tears and cry because it brings back so much memories and what I've done when I was a teenager. And it's like, it's like, wow, I did this. We are standing in front of one of the most beautiful murals ever. My name is Jane Golden and I have the great fortune and privilege and honor to run the mural arts program for the city of Philadelphia, the home of almost 4,000 murals. 4,001. <laughs> I think we're all a little shocked that we did it. So, you know, you, you go through this process, you design it, there's all this work to make it happen until it's on that wall, until you're able to step back and really experience it together. You never know what it's gonna look like. When you put together those 60 years expertise in making and creating paints and coatings for the industry, and the know-how and the creative spirit of each student from the Lanfer Center, this really becomes a great force of change. Dow has just been an amazing group to work with. And being at the paint farm itself and having access to all of the Dow employees was an incredible opportunity for our entire staff. See the hiding over here. Versus... Plus, it's, it's just a really amazing, cool place to go see. Just the visual impact of those fields. So seeing all of these samples laid out, some of them being outside for, for decades, right? Over here, we put it on one and a half times. And it's great to be in an environment where people are really thinking about paint. What makes it last? What makes it stay bright? What makes it survive the elements? In higher quality paints, we actually use what we call rheology modifiers. Learning the science behind that, why something will peel, why something will become chalky. I really love the process of discovering it with the students. Do you see up here what these are? Pentagon. Like Pentagon, right? Inside of the heads, so there are geometry shapes in there. It's like an equilateral triangle, right? And that's it's when so the science starts to kick in because you're just pointing at like, oh, that's a diamond and that's a oval type shape. Do you see it now? Watch, follow this. So follow this, see it? The students had an amazing experience on this project, developing the design from the ground level and then to see themselves in the mural in huge scale on a wall somewhere. I see one of my designs over there, the green and black. Yep, and your name's over on the right, you know that? their energy level, their engagement. They got to see the world in a different way. And it's really exciting, you know, to have something small worked out on a computer, worked out on a small design, but then to see it larger, larger than you on the side of a building and knowing that it's really impacting so many people. When we were making it, it was so much fun because we couldn't go five minutes without someone screaming at it. We love it, thank you. We had several community paint days where people had the opportunity to work on a five by five sheet with their family and their small children. In working in a paint day system, an entire community of people can reach a mural. Oh, this was fun. I find it a very humbling experience where I know that this project exists, yes, because of Dow, yes, because of mural arts, yes, because of the Franklin Institute, but even more so because of these kids being there, showing up every week, being part of the process and, and, and choosing to make something together. Remember, what you did is you created, you, you, you found the center of your circle and you put your, the, the center point of your second circle. It was pretty cool. It was cool, yeah. <laughs>